in Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Hey everyone, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 14. So today is an exciting day. We are at PetSmart to go see Santa Paul's. Yay! So we have both wait, babies wait, 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 here. Wait, 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 wait. They are super antsy because the car is stopped and they are ready to see where we're going. Yeah. Charlie last year wasn't really a fan of Santa. He just did not he like him. He didn't like him at all. This is Charlotte's first Christmas and her first time seeing Santa. I'm really excited. They're wearing their cute little outfit. So Charlotte says Santa baby, which this is what it looks like. Super duper cute. And then Charlie's is this cute little red truck and he's wearing his Santa hat. I was going to get Charlotte's Santa hat, but I totally forgot. <laughs> We put her hair up, it's time. Yeah, her hair is up in a little top knot. So we're gonna go in here, pray they do good. There's so many dogs, I'm sure there's gonna be wait, like mom said, it's probably gonna be a long waiting process. Pet Smart is packed right now. It's like so much busier than Petco was last year. Last year we literally walked Love in until the picture was done, but this year I think we're gonna have to wait, like there's so many dogs. But subscribe down below if you're new, give this video a thumbs up for our effort of getting a good Santa picture with the babies. And let's go inside, probably won't vlog it, but We'll see what we can get. Okay guys, so they just finished up their picture with Santa. They did so good. Charlotte! I just brought this little blanket scarf. I was actually gonna wear it, but we decided just to put Charlotte on there. And then Charlie's back here whining because he wants to get out of the cart. But we are doing some Christmas shopping with the dogs with us. <laughs> yeah, they don't know. They don't yeah. know, true. So we're gonna continue up the shopping and then we will be heading off to grab some lunch. So we are home and Charlie and Charlotte did amazing with Santa. I ended up getting in the picture with them and they did great. Charlotte was fine because I was holding her. Honestly, I don't know how she would have done if I actually put her in Santa's lap. But Charlie actually did great this year. He didn't freak out. The lines were ridiculous at PetSmart to get their pictures made with Santa. But I see why the pictures were so good. They had a professional photographer there and you actually got a printed out picture for a $5 donation and then you also could just take your own for free. We did both because we just wanted to see what we could get. And mom even got some really good pictures with both of the dogs looking at the cameras. But now it is time to start some Christmas baking. This is something I've been wanting to do for the whole month of December, but due to us being really busy people, I'm gonna be making salted caramel bars, which are literally the best thing ever. I can't eat but a few, and mom could probably eat a whole pan if she wanted to. Like she has a really big sweet tooth. She just loves sweets. I'm pretty sure she's excited about those. If I'm being like 100% honest, with you guys. I don't really feel like going downstairs and cooking. <laughs> no, I'm going to because that's what this whole video is about. I have to. So, I'm going to do it for you guys. I'm going to go bake and uh, hopefully have fun with it. We're going to start the caramel bars first because those are going to take the longest because they have to like bake and brown and all this other stuff. So, we're going to go downstairs, start some salted caramel bars. Hopefully, they turn out good because I'm using a different kind of flour. I'm using like gluten-free flour. So, I don't how they're gonna taste but you know what hopefully they'll be good if you're not gluten free just use regular flour in the place of the flour I'm gonna be using so let's go downstairs and bake okay so now it's time to start baking so the first thing we're gonna make are the salted caramel bars and these are amazing I'm not really a huge caramel person but surprisingly I love these so I'm gonna go through the ingredients real quick just to be clear these are not healthy in any way shape or form like I don't know you might can make them healthy but the version I'm making, they're not healthy. <laughs> the only thing they have going for them is there's no gluten in them, but the ingredients are not really healthy at all. So I'm gonna be using today the Red Mill brown rice flour, and usually you would substitute this, or what I should say is I substitute regular flour for this just because I'm trying to make them gluten-free. I really hope they turn out good and just like they always do because I've never tried it with this type of flour, so I'll let you guys know how they taste. Next is powdered sugar so this is definitely not healthy these are also really sweet by the way <laughs> then the next thing we'll be using is just regular sugar butter pure vanilla extract 
And then two jars of the Smucker's Salted Caramel or Caramel, however you prefer to say it. That is basically all the ingredients. You can, like the original recipe actually calls for you to melt your own caramel and everything, but we always just buy jars of caramel and yeah, I feel like that's the easiest. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start making our dough for the bars. We're gonna start making that first because that is pretty much the main part of <laughs> these bars. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our butter and we need two cups. So that is four sticks. <laughs> Told you it's not healthy whatsoever. So we're just going to throw the sticks in here and then we're going to soften them in the microwave. The next step is going to be mixing together the powdered sugar and the regular sugar and then the vanilla. So butter is softened. Now we're going to take and we need one cup of white sugar. I'm trying to look at the recipe so <laughs> I don't mess it up. Our sugar and now we're just going to start mixing this together I know it looks like a lot of powdered sugar but this only goes up to three-fourths cup so I had to do it a few times vanilla and this is just like a little bit not a ton I just usually eyeball it I don't really measure it out our next step is to add in flour it's actually four cups of flour the dough is made it is supposed to be like a little crumbly so if that's what yours looks like you did correctly. This next part is super duper crucial, so make sure you follow this if you're even making this. You're gonna grab you a pan, and you want to grab either cooking spray, olive oil, or butter to grease the pan. You want the pan to be really, really greased well, like sides, bottom, everything, because you do not want the bar sticking, and if you guys know, caramel is a very sticky liquid. Once you get that done, you're gonna take half of the dough, press it to the bottom of the pan, and then we're gonna bake that. Now we're gonna take this, we're gonna bake it in the oven for about 10, 15 minutes. The rest of the dough needs to go into the refrigerator to kind of set, or because we'll be using the remainder dough in just a little bit once this comes out of the oven. The dough is out of the oven, it's not going to look fully cooked. We're totally aware of that, but now is the time that we're gonna take our caramel, pour on top, and then we're going to take the remaining dough and crumble on top, kind of like a crumble, and then we'll put it back in the oven for about 20, 25, 30 minutes until it looks like it's golden brown and baked. caramel bars so far I had a little bit of a mess up right here the caramel kind of bubbled over the actual top layer of dough 
but it's okay. They do not look the best right now because they are still in the process of cooling, so they're kind of like cracking a little bit. Excited to see how the brown rice flour worked and see if they taste like the other ones did. I'm not sure, but we'll have to see. So here is the caramel bars. They look really good. I'm excited to try them. They did kind of stick on the edges. Hopefully it tastes just like it regularly does since it has the gluten-free flour, but let's try. They legit taste just like they usually do. Okay, so honestly, we give that a 10 out of 10. The gluten-free flour is good. It has like a tiny, tiny difference in like the texture of the flour. But other than that, they are great. I highly recommend trying this recipe. But that's all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Come back tomorrow and I'll see you guys then.